Today I'm going to show you how to change the alternator in a 2002 through 2007 Jeep Liberty with the 3.7 liter V6. How to wire to video. How to take your own. How to make your own hard top part. How to change the oil. How to fix the tail light problems. How to install. How to do a complete tune up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we are under the hood of the Jeep and the first thing that I like to do is remove the charging wire. Um, you can unhook the battery and everything if you like, but I just prefer unhooking the charging wire over here so I don't have to mess with resetting everything in the vehicle. I'm gonna pop this little cap off here. And let me get the right size socket. This is a 13 millimeter. You want to be careful not to touch your ratchet to anything metal while you're doing that so you don't short circuit anything. Have some black tape ready or electrical tape ready. And we're going to remove these wires and uh, most likely you'll only have the one. I've got two because I did an upgrade, but we're going to pull these wires off and go ahead and wrap them in electrical tape. Doesn't have to be neat or anything, just as long as they are completely covered to where you can lay them down and they don't touch it. And if they touch something, it's gonna be fine. And just don't be stingy with the, the electrical tape because if you're not going to unhook your battery like I'm doing, you want this to be able to just go wherever it wants and not have to worry about it touching and shorting out anything. Now we're going to move on to the next step of removing the serpentine belt. And you should have a sticker down here that shows your belt routing. So you have a reference for how the belt goes back on. If uh, you don't have this, so I guess that's kind of an important thing to, to make sure and look that you have this belt routing sticker. And if you don't, you know, take out your phone or something and try to take a picture of how everything is set up. Next, we're gonna go down here to our idler pulley or tensioner pulley. And we're going to, I'm gonna extend my ratchet. If you have a long ratchet or a breaker bar, it makes it easier. You're gonna put it on this bolt here, which is a 15 millimeter and you're gonna basically try to tighten it. And what that's gonna do is relieve tension off of your belt, as you can see here. You can actually kind of pull this off of just the alternator and let it go. If you're really afraid of getting your belt routing wrong, you can always put like a piece of tape holding the belt in place. Once you have that free, you're gonna have three bolts two which are 15 millimeter one right here we'll go ahead and take it off and if your alternator is original like mine the bolts can be kind of hard to get off of there there's one of the 15s here's the second 15. once you break these loose they actually come out fairly easy You need to kind of keep track of where these bolts are coming from because you can see they are different lengths. Our next bolt is a 13 millimeter. On mine, I have a really large ground cable, actually two large ground cables. You most likely won't have that unless you've upgraded your charging wires and your grounds. Like I said, you're gonna have the three bolts. They're each gonna be different. Once you have those removed, the alternator is pretty much gonna hold itself in place, but uh, I forgot you have one more little step here. You have a plug on the back that needs to be removed. Um, that would have been better for one of your first steps, but since the alternator doesn't just fall off, it's okay here. And you can try to wiggle it out. Um, a lot of times you can wiggle it out by hand, just try not putting your, your hand down in here because you can and will pinch yourself. But 
just gently wiggle it back and forth and it will come right out. Um, be careful when you do get it out. It's, it's not super heavy, but it will surprise you if, uh, if you're new to working on vehicles um, and you kind of have an idea of how heavy it is. Well, it's going to be about as twice as heavy as you think it is if you're new to working on vehicles. If, uh, if you've done this before, you know how much a millimeter weighs. It's not substantially heavy, but it is heavier than it looks. Now, all we have to do is the reverse. We're going to take our new alternator. Get it pretty lined up in place here. Get all of my wires out of the way. And I found it's pretty much the easiest if you go with the longest bolt over here and get it lined up. And once you have it lined up, that pretty much gets you almost set for everything else. These aren't all that hard to line up. Get that one started and then we'll go to our other 15 millimeter and get it started as well. And then we'll go ahead and start our 13 millimeter. I gotta get all of my ground wires back together here. And again, like I said, you may not have these ground wires unless you've done some upgrades like I have. Now, we're just gonna tighten these up. I wanna get them all ran in and kind of snug before I go and tighten all of them down completely. We have all those tightened back up. And if you notice, I collapsed my ratchet back down. When I took it off, I had it out like this. So I had maximum leverage to remove the bolts. But when I put them back in, I collapsed it down to this. That way you don't put too much force on them and break these off because they are going into aluminum pieces. Now we can plug this back in. And this isn't necessary, but I like to use it pretty much on any electrical connection. This is just some dielectric grease. Just gonna put it on the plug there. Now, we are going to remove our electrical tape and we need to be really careful not to touch this on anything. And again, if you don't feel safe doing it this way, you can unhook the battery and unhook the leads here. Either way, you're gonna to have to unhook these leads, of course, to change your alternator, but you can also unhook it from the battery. I just choose not to. And you should see that you're gonna have a little tab on here, and you're gonna to try to line that up with an existing tab on your alternator issue looks like on my new one with this being an aftermarket high output alternator it seems like that notch is in a different position yeah it is it's a, you know, it's a slightly different position but it is achievable here and I'm going to take my other wire at this point, if you don't have a secondary charge wire, if you haven't upgraded, like I've said multiple times, this step won't apply to you. And we'll take our 13 millimeter and tighten this up. And be careful not to touch any metal with this again and not to over tighten it. There we go. Now I don't know if my cover is going to fit because the way things have kind of changed here.
Yeah, it kind of does, but that's not the important thing. Now, here's where your belt routing sticker comes in, or if you didn't have one, like I said, you should have taken a picture. Luckily, the belt hasn't really moved all that much. Um, actually, it's still on all of the pulleys. We're going to take our 15 millimeter again, get it down here on the tensioner, get our belt lined up with all of the pulleys, and push down on this to give us the slack that we need. And then release it slowly to put the tension back on. Make sure you have tension. And there you go. And uh, one thing you may notice when you uh, put this back on, the belt may be a little off center on your water pump because your water pump doesn't have grooves in it. You can loosen the tension a little bit and push it back if you like. Um, you don't have to because as long as it is on that pulley and it's on all of these others, as soon as you start it, it will correct itself. So there you go. That's how easy it is to change the alternator in a 2002 through 2007 Jeep Liberty with the 3.7 liter V6. You could do this in half the time if you didn't have to set and explain like I'm doing. Whenever you make a video, it always takes two to three times longer. But as you can see, this is a really simple thing to change. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go into my channel. I've got all kinds of other how-to videos and uh, I've got customization videos on uh, this Jeep and another Jeep. As you can see, there's a lot of different stuff underneath here that's been modified. So go into my channel, check out a couple of those videos. If you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.